everyone, so I recently went shopping for some must-have summer beauty products on Blush.com and I want to do a haul for you guys, but before I get started on that, I want to let you know that the first ever Skylark products are now available for pre-order on Blush.com and it is a lip gloss duo. So a little bit of backstory on it and then I'll go ahead and get started on the haul. My sister and I have our first novel coming out, which is Beneath the Glitter on September 4th, which is available for pre-order online. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. It's hardback and if you order it online, like pre-order, I'll link all the sites below. Um, it is $10.98, but if you wait until it actually comes out, the hardcover is going to be $17.99. So you actually save a lot of money if you go ahead and pre-order it and it ensures that you get like a first edition. So I wanted to let you guys know that. And then our makeup line, Skylark, we've been working on for years. We are so proud of it. And we told you guys from the beginning, you know, this isn't going to be a line where we're just going to debut with the staple shadows and glosses and liners and mascaras and stuff. We want to perfect each product and then release it as we perfect it. So it might not make any sense we might be releasing you know a mascara and then a liner and then a blush and then a like eyeshadow we don't know but we just want to get them perfect because there's not a makeup line out there right now that has each product just be the best of the best so that's kind of what we're trying to do and it's definitely a slow process we knew that we wanted to combine our two babies and release something from the Skylark makeup line preferably the first item to kind of go along with beneath the glitter so what we've been working on and what I'm so excited is now available for pre-order is our lip gloss it's a lip gloss duo and the packaging is so pretty and it comes with a Sophia gloss and an Ava gloss which are named after the two main characters in the novel and then also to develop each of them color wise we really wanted to kind of play off what when we close our eyes and picture Sophia and Ava what would we see them wearing so I'll start with the Ava because it's actually what is on my lips right now and I've been wearing it so much and I love it um okay and I'm also getting a lot of compliments on it which makes me happy. Ava's the younger sister and she's very wild she's adventurous she's just kind of free-spirited and I always just kind of pictured her to be the type of girl that runs out of the door and just grabs a lip gloss and what color is prettier to just throw on your lips than a beautiful soft we knew we wanted it to be really pigmented and then the the formula itself just so you guys know it's not sticky at all it's very creamy and very silky and when you rub your lips together it feels really good but it's not sticky because we don't like when like our hair sticks to our Sophia gloss. is the older sister which it's only by a few years but since she feels like she almost has to protect and take care of Ava a little bit she has a little bit more of kind of like a mature vibe to her and we wanted to do something that could kind of go into nighttime and stuff like that so we did a really deep berry that's beautiful for day or night but it is absolutely such a such such a gorgeous color and um, she's very much of a romantic and it's just kind of that classic beauty that you think of so those are the two glosses they're available right now for pre-order on blush.com I hope you guys enjoy them and I'm gonna go ahead and get started in my haul. The first item I got is from South Seas and it's the Island Glow Body Bronzer which I've actually used this brand before in their tan extender I went to get spray tanned one time and I was asking him you know how can I make it last longer what kind of moisturizer should I use and he was like you have to get South Seas moisturizer so I got the like tan extender and it worked so well so I knew that I liked the brand and the products but I had never tried the body bronzer before so I decided to give it a go it says on the back that um, it is the South Seas Island Glow Body Bronzer is a weightless formula designed to give your body a flawless, even toned glow. The exotic formula drives immediately without streaking or rubbing off, which I'm excited to try because a lot of self tanners or self bronzers, you have to do it at night and then let it sit and then rinse it off in the morning. Otherwise, if you like sweat or anything like that, it just kind of streaks up and it kind of transfers onto your clothes and sometimes even your sheets. And I don't know, that just gets too messy for me. So I'm really excited to try this. And then the next thing I got is the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. Now, you guys know I lived off of the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette for literally over a year. It's what I used every single day. I went through two whole ones of them, but ooh, this came with a shadow insurance little sample too. That's nice. So I'm taking it out of the box, and this is what this one looks like. So you have all of these matte shadows. They're really beautiful, and then you have these cards on the side that it comes with, if I can pull these out. So it shows you which colors to apply for a day look and where to put them, which one to do a classic, which it kind of looks like a classic smoky eye to me, and then what to do for a fashion eye. So I think that's really cool. I love their shadows. I love these palettes. They're easy to travel with. I like that they made the packaging. Since I bought my last natural eye palette, they made the packaging a lot thinner, which I like. It used to have a little slide out drawer on the bottom that had a brush, but I never really even used it because I use my own brushes. So I'm glad that it took away like half of the bulking and this is definitely something that would be great for summer travels. I feel like the natural eye would be really pretty for the day and then the matte eyes for night kind of like a smoky eye but obviously you could use both 
both colors, you know, mix them together and you almost have like three palettes because you have your natural, your smoky, and then your combined. Then I got the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush. Now I have oily skin, so anytime anything says matte, it always just like jumps out at me and I'm like matte, 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 matte. So um, I definitely was curious about this and I looked up some reviews and they had really awesome reviews. So I got this. What color is it again? It is in Exposed, which just looks like absolutely the prettiest blush color for summer. How gorgeous is that? I feel like that's going to carry over well into fall too, but it's definitely, I think, going to be like my go-to summer blush now. I've been using MAC uh, Pincho Peach. That's on my cheeks right now, but I think I'm going to like this one better. So the next thing I got is the Jane Iredale So Bronze, and I got number one, which is like the lightest one because I naturally do have pretty pale skin. Right now I have a little bit more of a glow. But naturally I'm pretty light, so I wanted to get a light bronzer, and this looks like this. Again, the reviews are awesome on this. So it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but not enough that it makes it like glittery, so you can still use this to contour your cheekbones or anything like that, but also if, you know, you have your foundation and your powder and your concealer that's all in your color, and then you get Get a little bit of sun and you turn a darker color or something bronzer is just a really easy way to kind of deepen up your whole look instead of having to get a new foundation and concealer and powder and stuff like that so I definitely think bronzers are like something I live by in the summer to save my wallet I guess the next thing I got is a Stila eyeshadow this is in kitten I'm sure all of you guessed it this is an eyeshadow that is kind of a dupe for max grand entrance which was a limited edition like forever ago and I absolutely was like obsessed with it I finished my last one and I was talking to Elle about it and I was like I'm so upset like I don't have any more and she was like you know Stila kitten is like an exact dupe and I was like what are you talking about so I went ahead and picked that up it's a beautiful color you can use it as a highlight you can use it on your eyes as a shadow. It's just absolutely beautiful. So then I got the Diego Della Palma Mascara, which comes in a little box like this. And then you open it up and it kind of, oh, sorry, I got like glitters all over the packaging. Packaging reminds me of the Makeup Forever uh, Smoky Lash Mascara, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the wand. It looks like this. So it's kind of like a classic wand, but this is almost like a semi-permanent tint to your eyelashes. So it's better, I find, than just using like a straight up mascara in the summer because even when you take it off and remove it with eye makeup, now I've never used this before, but I've just heard through different reviews and stuff that even when you remove it with eye makeup, it almost gives your eyelashes still like a tint of darkness to them. So it looks like you have mascara still on, but it can't like rub off in the pool. So I thought that was really unique and cool and I wanted to try it. And then I got another Too Faced product. Now this is the Pink Leopard Bronzer. I don't know if you guys remember when I was on blush.com just kind of roaming around, I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I used to love this. And I had a flashback. I don't remember if I mentioned it in a video or if I tweeted it or if I did a blog post on it but back when I had just gotten Teddy and he was still like a tiny little puppy I remember I was wearing my uh, Too Faced Pink Leopard bronzer every day. And I just remember walking into my room one day and he had completely chewed it up. And I was like so upset because I loved my Pink Leopard bronzer. But I'll, obviously I was more worried that like he would get sick or anything, but he's fine. Um, so this is the bronzer. It kind of has a little bit of a highlighter side to it. It has a bronzing side and it also has some pink for a blush. So I find it's really pretty. After you do your blush and your bronzer and all that, I just sweep it over my cheeks and it gives me a very summery glow low that I find is really beautiful and I like that they had the little version instead of the great big version because I would never use like an entire thing of it but this size is perfect. Next thing I got is the Tarte Lip Surgeon Natural Lip Luster in the color Adored which this actually might be one of the items if not the item that I'm most excited about in this haul. So look at that. It's like a little uh, or like not a little it's like a big pencil and you put it on your lips and it's almost like one of those stains but it's really really moisturizing and buttery so I've been excited to try this and it also what kind of sold me on this which is a silly little like thing that matters but I like that you didn't have to sharpen it it actually you just like um twist the bottom and it comes up even more which I like better than when you have these giant sticks because I'm always like what do you sharpen those with and there are so many different size sharpeners and stuff so I have two more products the next one is a Stila eyeliner and this is an on liner that I have used before I think it's really nice it's just a really really deep black and it's like 
so creamy it just like you swipe it on and it just like it goes it stays it's just one of those black liners that if you're looking for like a deep true black that's going to stay for a long time I recommend this one and then the last thing I got is a lip liner which I feel like I've said I'm excited about a lot of these products but I might be most excited about this this is by Kativa and this is actually a dupe for a MAC lip liner that I used to love that became um like discontinued it wasn't limited edition like they had it for years and then they discontinued it and this is like a dupe of it so i decided to pick it up and it is a catavita oh it's just in the color nude so yeah i will swipe that for you so that is the color right there's a difference between having a nude lip that just kind of looks like you put concealer over your lips and having a nude as in kind of just like a very natural color do you get what i'm saying so this kind of gives me that and i like to put uh max what lip gloss was it i used to do this combination all the time i would do the lip liner and then Max, oh, Love Nectar lip gloss over top of it, and it looks so pretty. So that's going to be definitely like a summer lip. So that is my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget the Beneath the Glitter and our Skylark lip gloss duo is both ready for pre-order, which I'm so excited about. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. But if you guys do a summer haul for like must-have beauty products this summer or something, make sure to film it and leave it as a video response below because I would love to watch it. But I will talk to you guys later.